Hello everyone. How's everybody doing today? It's Pete here. Uh, guys, before we get started, um, can we please take a moment of silence to uh, recognize 9-11? Uh, um, if we can just take a quick second and bow our heads, um, just in respect of all our fallen heroes and um, all of the people that sacrificed their lives that day and um, the tremendous pain that it caused everybody for moving forward all these years. Until today, uh, we still grieve. It will never stop. Uh, for me, anyway, it will. I will never forget it, and it's just a. It's when that day comes along today, September 11th. I get a little um, emotional. So, guys, I'm going to take. If you can bear with me, and I'd appreciate it if you can do the same thing. If we can quickly take uh, just a moment of silence, and um, I'll get right to the video. Thanks, guys. Okay, guys, I appreciate it. Um, I really appreciate it. I'm sorry I get a little emotional. Um, I do that once a year, um, sometimes more than once a year. Um, but anyway, the video today that I have for you guys is about something that I discovered from a friend of mine, and I can hardly believe... Um, how great these knives really, really are. I mean, they are exceptional. They are exceptional traditional pocket knives. I'm telling you now. Um, they are called Klaus. Klaus knives. I'm going to show you the box. Okay, it's right here. Robert Klaus. There's his name here. K-L-A-A-S. Since 1834, Robert Klaus on the building. Same thing on the side, Robert Klaus. But if you need to buy one of these, you could go to uh, Klaus Knives, maybe. That's what I do. Okay. This little guy right here, this little stockman, came through the mail today. And golly gee, it has got to be one of the best stockmans now, guys. I tell you, I might have 50, at least 50 Stockmans in my collection, if not more. I probably have more. It seems like a low number. The tolerances on this little pocket knife right here, the fit and finish is exceptional. Exceptional. I cannot believe what I paid for that little pocket knife right there. That little medium stockman was $17. $17, guys. Um, hold on one second. It is sharp. It is sharp. They call this, um, what's that German steel called? Oh, man. Anyway, let me just show you up close. There's the logo in the middle there. I'm going to shut this blades. Wait a minute. Bear with me. We can get through it. <laughs> I can work right around that camera, guys. Um, let me see. And there she is. Just a gorgeous, gorgeous little stockman. I'm telling you, this little sucker has me stunned. Has me absolutely blown away okay look at that isn't that just so oh my god when i get a little piece 17 dollars 17 beans now if you think that one's good hold on guys i'm re oops hold on a minute okay how's that isn't that a pretty little piece now Golly gee willikers. Okay, now 
my good friend, Knife Detector, turned me on to these knives. Yes, he did. If you are not subscribed to his channel, please go over and visit with him. He's extremely knowledgeable with the older traditionals. He really goes back, man. I'm telling you, that guy goes back. If you are into that kind of stuff, or just traditional pocket knives, and, you know, he, I'm telling you, he puts out a heck of a video. Go look at the guy, please. Um, also, also, to start with, um, he turned me on to these guys right here. Now, everybody knows that I'm a big fan of a copperhead. Now, now, this is my copperhead that I got a while back. And I have been loving, loving this copperhead um, more than any of my copperheads in my collection. In my collection, it is just gosh darn knockout beautiful. I love it. I love it. Look at the fit and finish. Look how beautiful that little pocket knife is. That's the copperhead. The two-bladed copperhead. Now, if you think that that one's good... Okay, don't forget now, these are these are called Klaus. Oh, let's focus now for me. Come on, don't do it to me now. Get everything pretty. Okay, also, here's another one. Kabang! Look at this yellow Klaus. Now, this is also a copperhead. This is in Delrin. Look at the fit and finish once again on this two-bladed copperhead. Guys, I love these knives. They are dynamite. Exceptional, exceptional. I can't stress enough how good they really are. I mean, guys, can you look at that? Can you please look at this fit and finish? Look at this. I don't feel that at all. Centering. Look at the centering. How nice the centering is. Okay. But just overall, look at the fit and finish. Look at that dimpled. Um, I do believe it is Delrin. I think it's dimpled Delrin. That's not bone. But look how beautiful that really is. Guys, I cannot be more pleased um, with Klaus knives. I just can't. Um, I, am, I am thrilled, thrilled to death that I was introduced uh, to these pocket knives. They are just a winner in my book through and through and through. Just a great, great, great little pocket knife. And so affordable. My goodness. I think these copperheads were, um, I think the cop, both copperheads were 30, okay? They were, you can probably get them cheaper if you looked around, but I mean, you don't, you wouldn't pay 30 bucks for this pocket knife. Look at it. Look at it. Don't it look like caramel? It looks like, the. it looks like melted caramel. Don't it look like melted caramel? Oh, my God. Anyway, they are called Klaus. Yeah, I keep repeating myself, but that is just... When this one came, I just said to myself, or I took it out of the box, did my normal cleanup with it, and I just looked at it and said, Oh, my God. Look at it. Look, look, look. You don't feel any of the transitions at all. At all. Look at that dimpled texture, will you? Look at that. Alright guys, I just thought that you'd like to get a look at these Klaus knives with me. And um, I'm, I'm, I'm hoping that you see, maybe, um, maybe I'm wrong. Let me know in the comments what you guys think about these pieces. About these Klaus knives. I mean, I just think that they are beautiful. Beautiful. Alright, guys. It's one of them days. 
I just wanted to get that and put that in the camera for you. I got three of them. And uh, I just love them. I love them, love them, love them. And I, I hope to add to the collection with these Klaus pieces. These Klaus, not Klaus knives. All right, guys. I'm not going to keep these today. I'm going to let you get down the road. You guys stay safe out there. It's a, it's one, it's a crazy, crazy world. And uh, we'll get through it. We'll get through it. And uh, like I said, I appreciate the comments. If you can drop me a little something, something. If you can drop me a jingle. Who said that before in the past? I picked that up from somebody. I didn't, I didn't just, somebody said that and I stole the term. If somebody could drop me a jingle, I'd appreciate it. And I just, I loved it. I thought it was a funny term and I just stole it. All right, guys, listen, stick with me. Let me know what you think about these Klaus knives, really. And uh, we'll take it from there. I'm curious. I'm really, really curious. All right, guys, listen. Take care. Be safe. And uh, we'll see you guys on the next one. Take care.